Welcome back to Kawakapa. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing good today. But today I do want to talk about something that's a little bit more close to my heart. I, um, I definitely think it's something that really everybody else should be concentrated on. And uh, that is the five things, uh, that's five, the five things that uh, all new riders should know. And I highly recommend if you are a new rider or if you're thinking about buying in a motorcycle, then you should definitely follow all five of these. And I'm going to make this really quick, really easy, maybe, hopefully, I don't know, I never know how long my videos are going to be, but basically we're going to start off with number five, and that is the obvious. Now if you're buying a motorcycle or you're thinking about buying a motorcycle or you want to get on a motorcycle, good on ya. It's a lot of fun to be on these, on these things, however, go take some classes okay that's number five on my list it really is really important boys and girls because when you take a class you're gonna learn so much and I mean so much there's just whew, did not want to get caught by that light you're gonna learn so many different things uh, how to control your bike the clutch and the brake the, the counter steer all of these little things that are gonna really really come in handy for you so it's one less thing for you to think about when you're out riding your bike and it's gonna start building a little bit of a muscle memory and it's like anything else you do not want to build a bad habit a bad habit is very 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 hard to break however if you don't have the bad habit you don't have to worry about breaking it so I would definitely recommend to each and every single person who is thinking about going out to uh, start writing start you know even if you're just thinking about it you know just go take some classes and you will not be sorry you're gonna come back and thank me for it trust me it is uh, it is the biggest most important thing when it comes to you and the education you're gonna have ultimately for uh, for just going out there and writing so yeah that's number five uh, of course these are in no particular order so if it was then this would be number one all right so number four number four is practice 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 so most people the mistake that they make is they buy a motorcycle and uh, you know they pass their they pass their MSA or whatever you might have in your area and here they are they're allowed to be out on a bike now and they they're happy you know they, they bought their bike and they're licensed they're registered and they can go out there and ride that does not make you a good rider that does not even make you a rider all it does is a piece of paper that says you're allowed to ride go out there and practice 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 i cannot get it through people's calls that practice makes perfect now it doesn't mean that you you can't go out there and enjoy yourself but what you should be doing is going out there and enjoying yourself by learning more add to your skills always so when you're out there especially in the first year that you are out there riding the first season um, if you have seasons to deal with the first year that you're out there go out there and really really pay attention to the small things right uh, practice your figure eights practice your uh, well basically everything but slow mo uh, slow maneuvers i would highly recommend everybody practice it and if you're a new rider then you definitely you definitely want to start practicing your slow maneuvers they will come in handy especially if you're stuck in traffic or anything along those lines slow maneuvers very very important okay guys practice that please do and uh, figure eights now figure eights most people don't realize the importance of figure eights trust me it's really really important all right practice so number three is something different number three is something that most people don't think about and that is perception so what I mean by perception is being able to tell the difference between uh, let's say a car coming uh, towards you or you coming up to a car you want to have an idea whereabouts that car is and how fast that car is going to get to you or you're going to get to that car so perception distance speed those are very very important and most people don't think about it you know I, I, I still have some experienced riders that I talk to you for some reason they're like well I mean it's, it just comes naturally it doesn't come naturally you, you kind of want to pay attention to it and figure out okay well uh, the feeling that you're gonna get is gonna be basically understanding that distance from the car ahead of you how fast are you coming up onto that car and those things make in a, a 
unbelievable amount of difference. So most people at this point will probably write something into uh, the, the comment section. Wow, that is this, that is that. Ooh, motorcycle, nice. So here's the thing. When you're pulling out on a side street and you're looking down the street to your left, to your right, doesn't matter, and you see a um, vehicle coming, this is where it comes in handy. If you can judge that vehicle's distance and speed, you know if you should go or if you shouldn't go. Yeah, it's that simple. That's why I'm not basically saying it. Understand the perception, speed and distance, very, very, very important. All right, number two, your bike. Your bike, whatever the heck you choose, is gonna be your bike. That's what you, uh, it's your choice. Listen, don't let anybody tell you what you should choose but there is a big but here you should not be jumping onto a pretty much anything <laughs> above a 300 400 you really shouldn't it's not a question of could you it's a question of should you and the reason I'm saying that you shouldn't is because a ninja let's say 300 or 400 is gonna teach you how to go through all of your gears in quick sequences right a ninja 300 for example you got to go through those gears pretty much in, in you know in two blocks so you're gonna get a sensation for your um, clutch you're gonna get a sensation for how the engine reacts plus you're not gonna be able to pull off uh, you know by mistake you're not gonna raise that nose suddenly because you punch the throttle those are things that you shouldn't be worried about, at least not for the first year. This is also one of the biggest reasons that you hear people saying, buy a used bike, buy like a used 300, something cheap, just something to practice on. And you'll see a lot of the great riders, that's, uh, that's pretty much what they're gonna tell you. Uh, I'm not a great rider, so, but I still have 300. Anyway, um, I think that the key things to, to understand about this is, the motorcycle you buy, you, look, it doesn't matter if you have a BMW 1000 double R, okay? You just got your license, you got a BMW 1000 double R. Look, the bike looks good, but you'll, you're gonna look like an idiot because frankly, it's a beautiful bike that you have absolutely no idea how to use. Kinda see where I'm going with this? So, in the, in the motorcycle community, the good guys, the real good people in the motorcycle community, man, they're just happy that you're riding. They don't care about what you ride, you know? They're gonna be there to support you through the fact that you're riding. They'll be happy to answer your questions. Don't be worried about what it is that you're riding. Worry about, can you handle what it is that you're riding? I think that's a very important thing that very few people talk about. And if you're a new rider or you're thinking about riding, Pick up a bike that is easy to ride, that's very forgiving. Something like Ninja 300 with a slipper clutch is gonna definitely help you with, uh, you know, adjust your clutch and everything else. It's cheap as uh, dirt to buy, really it is, and it's gonna teach you so, so much. All right, so with that said, I'm gonna head on to a number one, the most important part of learning um, or what you should think about when you're buying your first bike. The very, very, very important thing to me that I think most people don't tell you is your gear. So when you're out there the first, uh, especially the first year, I don't care. Look, at, Listen guys, if you guys want to be squids, good for you. I, I don't, it, it's your choice. In fact, today I'm not even wearing my jacket. It is your choice. It's your life. Do whatever you want. However, once you have a good understanding of your bike, do whatever the heck you want. Until that moment comes, you don't know what you're doing. You're still learning. So you're gonna make mistakes, you'll drop the bike. And chances are, you're also gonna do something pretty silly like, um, I don't know, fall over. See, because you're so new at this and you don't know what to expect, this is the perfect time for you to make sure you have gear to protect you. I'm not saying that once you have experience, you're not gonna get hurt. <laughs> that's no way, no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is once you have uh, experience, you kind of have a, a little bit of a better idea. There's less likeliness that you're just gonna come to a stop like this and fall over. Whereas a new rider, <laughs> they can do that. So having the gear there to protect you, I highly recommend it. You really should have it and it is ridiculously, ridiculously important. 
the first year, the first season that you're riding, do me a favor and do not even dream, do not even think, don't even let it cross your mind that you're not going to put up your gear. Put on your gear, okay? After that, I don't care. Just, just do me a favor and do it for the first year. All right, boys and girls, I hope this was helpful. With all that said, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. As I always, you guys know, we love you. Don't forget to love, ride, explore. Leave me a comment. Tell me your thoughts. And, uh, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, goodbye.